Today's subject is control, consistency. Um, if you're having trouble with your consistency on your forehand, it's probably your grip, okay? So you have to really know what type of grip you're holding. Remember, the grip is the foundation of your shot. You can't build a house or a good stroke on a lousy foundation, okay? So you've got to make sure you have a, a grip that's conducive to getting the racket head vertical at contact. Now, if you're holding a continental grip, it's very difficult because the racket is coming into the contact zone slightly open. And then you're trying to make adjustments. So if you're having a problem with control, you know, the ball's go, you don't, you're not quite sure where it's going. It's going in the net, it's going long, it's going wide. If your shots are all over the place, it's probably your grip. So let's do a little study on grips. All tennis racket handles are octagonal, eight-sided. They've got those flat surfaces, okay? Now, we're gonna give those numbers. Now, that one on top, that flat surface on top is number one. This little bevel here, two. Three is that flat side there, four. And then five is on the bottom. And it's the same thing for a left-hander, just going the other way. Now, if you're continental, you're probably holding the See, the index knuckle, your index knuckle on your hitting hand, the inside, okay, and the heel of your hand, these two points here, these are your two reference points. They need to, they need to be on the correct number. Now, if you're continental grip, you would be on number two. And number two tends to, like I say, it opens the face. So you're always trying to make adjustments, and that's the reason why you're having problems with your control. Now, where do we want to be, let's say, for a forehand? Well, Roger Federer's on number three, and a lot of the guys today on the tour are on number four. So you've got to learn to turn your hand more this way to go to number three, and then further to number four. Now, the beauty of those grips is that now you do not have to make la you know, millisecond adjustments in the contact zone, okay? So instead of coming into the contact zone with an open face and trying to make adjustments, once you turn your hand to number three or number four, the racket face now will be slightly closed at the low point of the backswing. So as you swing up to hit the ball, the racket is naturally vertical. So this allows you to not play around with the wrist and the forearm. You're just swinging from the shoulder as the hinge and your wrist and forearm are pretty much in a fixed position. Once you get through the contact, then of course you can relax the wrist and come across the body. But you've got to, you know, keep it fixed through contact. That's key. But give that a try, go to number three, go to number four, experiment, and make sure that the racket, when you bring the racket back, the racket is closed here, meaning it's facing down, okay? If you're on number three, you may have to close it up just a little bit by pushing the palm of your hand down. If you're on number four, it's automatically closed. And then if you just learn to swing low to high, you're going to be vertical in that contact zone every time. And there's no millisecond adjustments to make. So that'll really help you increase your control. Okay, remember, if you're, if you're at continental grip, okay, I'm going to go to continental. And if I was trying to drive a forehand with this grip, I have to make adjustments with my wrist and forearm very difficult to do. Continental grip for the forehand slice, that's a different ball game. That would work okay. So if I'm going to slice the ball, you know, I'm swinging high to low, continental's fine. But when you're trying to drive it, you want to turn the hand over more. Okay, see now, 
Now the hand is over, the racket face is closed, and once the face is closed, at the low point of the backswing, I'm guaranteed, guaranteed vertical at contact. So that'll make a huge difference for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tip. If you want to get my full rock solid forehand course, please go to the link in the description box. I'm sure that'll help you develop that consistency and control that you want. All the best and happy hitting.